What's up world? Welcome back to Radical Investors, where we talk about investing, stocks, and all the ways how to make the money. I'm Wasu. I'm Ahmed. And today we're talking about discovery and why you should maybe take a look at it. Let's go. Hey guys, so before we start the video today, we wanted to invite you guys to join our tribe. We are the most radical, forward-thinking, out-of-the-box-thinking group of investors on the internet, and we want you to come in the fold and add your spice to our tribe. That's right, guys. Uh, join the tribe. Bless that like and subscribe button. Uh, all are welcome here. You know, you just gotta remember to stay radical. Okay, guys, so the company that we're here talking about today is Discovery. Yeah. Discovery Media or just Discovery? Yeah, no, Discovery, uh, Discovery Inc. Um, they are a media company. They own several channels, guys. Um, it, it's the list goes on. You know, from A and E, mm -hmm. TLC, uh, Animal Planet Channel, uh, Food Network Channel. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, they they cover all the grounds as far as what the channels that they own. Um, very sticky content, guys. Very sticky content. Uh, this was kind of one that I kind of wanted to put out wanted to put out there no, that you wanted to put out yeah there. that I wanted to put out there because um, you know there's I've noticed I uh, kind of got stuck to some of their content uh, matter of fact undercover billionaires on there with a Grant Cardone uh, there it's also on discovery but guys um, one of the plays why I think this company has potential is that in December they launched discovery plus which is their a subscription-based uh, platform for their content, right? And what I found th through the research was they, they have signed up around 7 million subscribers. That is huge, guys. If you think about an early subscription uh, company. company, I mean, I don't even think Apple is even close to that, right? Like, so what I like about them is that they have very sticky content, like, this is like, some of it is outrageous. They're the channel that, you know, if you hear about some crazy murder mystery and all of this unsolved kind of stuff, they got that content. If you're talking about haunted house this, haunted ship that, yeah. uh, they got that content. You know, pre-Tiger pre King, that type of content is where you would find- We love in, Tiger. Right? Yeah. You would find that type of content on Discovery, right? So, so how much is it? How much is it? Yeah, Thousand so it's currently trading. Um, I believe it's like seven dollars. Seven dollars. Yeah. Okay. And so, so and Netflix is what fourteen dollars? Yeah, I mean they keep increasing the price, uh, but it's yeah I think we're so it's about half. So it's about half. here at Radical Investors, we generally agree on <laughs> companies. This company, I'm not too sure. He's all in on. I don't know. Granted, I don't watch TV. Um, I only watch HBO Max. Netflix what, and YouTube? things on from the internet yeah. and YouTube. That, that that's that's it. So these things like Undercover Boss, <laughs> uh, My Baby Daddy Number Two, My Baby Daddy <laughs> Number Three, day fiance, Ninety Day Fiance, How to Lose Three Hundred yeah. Pounds. These things are completely yeah. foreign for me. But evidently, there's a whole bunch of people in the they're, world that like this garbage. Yeah. Person, how many kids you got? Oh Lord, <laughs> six. Bruh. The conversation that's going on online with these shows, it's. It's there. It's addictive content, and you know, with subscription-based content, that's what you want, right? That's why The Office on Netflix was so popular because it was like something you can just turn on as background noise and just let it go. That same case for Discovery Plus. You've got people that will leave it on some Animal Network channel, leave their dog in the house, and then just let their dog just 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 watch that stuff all day. Guys, it's very sticky content. Um, so let me ask you, so you said it's $7, right? Right. So what would you say to the person? Where do you think it's going to slot in? So if I have Netflix and we, everyone has a Netflix right. account, right? So that's kind of just like, um, your 2020 version of basic television. Yeah. So you have a Netflix account. Most people, I, I think, I mean, for people like me that are kind of like into really cool content, yeah. HBO Max, I think offers like a fantastic, for sure. Um, value add right there and that's the most expensive I think they're like 20 bucks or something like yeah. that um, and then you have what your YouTube premium subscription absolutely right you Maybe. might have an Apple Apple TV you might so have an Amazon, it, Prime. It, 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 Amazon Prime it gets yeah. a little expensive no so um, 
you know, it does get expensive, but you have to remember that, you know, this is coming from, you have to keep in mind that, you know, it's not expensive when you're talking about people that are cutting the cord, right? An average cable bill is probably around a hundred dollars. So let's say your total bundle package that you kind of curate is in that like, let's say even 30 to $50 range, you're still in a good spot as far as, you know, you saving money. And the thing is that I think with why I'm, I'm kind of bullish a little bit on uh, Discovery is like all of these platforms that you mentioned, they all serve a need, right? One need you haven't mentioned is that binge watching background uh, kind of junk food TV guys. And they do a great job with this kind of stuff. Uh, so, you know, as people cut cable and, you know, reduce their cable, like eliminate their cable bill, they sure. still want some of that, right? Like this, like this is those base, those kind of channels that are there that you don't think hit, but they hit, man, they hit. Yeah. Yeah. I, I am more bullish on humanity. I do not <laughs> think you guys are out there guys, guys. sitting down watching so another how to lose 300 pounds. <laughs> It, it's it's very interesting content, guys. That that's the thing. It's it's I, I challenge all of you radicals out there to just pop on and try one like watch one of these shows and see. Try to put yourself in the mind of the masses now, because that's what we're looking at. We're not just looking at niches, right? Which is a smaller market cap. We're looking at how why, and why I think this has huge potential is because this is the type of product that everybody can kind of enjoy and they have content that kind of hits all demographics and all age groups um another reason why I, i'm bullish just in content in general right now is that's why we love youtube is um the whole autonomous driving yeah. right like right like we're very close to autonomous driving pick your how many however many years from now it's gonna happen eventually and when that happens, you have to ask yourself, okay, what are people going to be doing when they're in vehicles? Yeah. Right? No, that's very good. Right? Kind of some can say read really a book. Eh, some people read books. Some people listen to audiobooks. I do. I love it. Right? Yeah. But we do. It's always, we love that. Um, some people can say working. Right? Yeah, there's going to be a group of people that like to work. That's why right? we make the money. Gaming. I'm sure gaming is going to be big. But also, you know, after a long day work i think a lot of people are just gonna throw on some 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 fast food tv yeah. and and just kind of uh laugh their way home and continue on with their day yeah we'll we'll see so i i, I don't know about uh discovery content but where i 100 percent do agree content is king right content is gold Absolutely. in this decade and beyond um, as not just driving, but as we become superhuman, right? And we become, we have the ability to automate different parts of our lives, right. from true. our work um, to our leisure time. But we're gonna have a lot more time, a lot more, a um, lot more time, free yes. time within the hours. Right. What are we gonna do with that time? We do agree, consumption of content is gonna be a, a really, really important thing. I just don't believe that content is, is what people wanna watch. Nice. But then again, I am biased, yeah. you know? Yeah, so you know, let us know down below, guys. Let's what see. what do you guys think? Do you think Discovery has uh, the legs uh, to kind of go to distance with a potential Netflix? Right. That's another thing. Actually, just double back. Um, the valuation is, uh, I believe, around thirteen. It's it's below twenty. I know that. 20, yeah, yeah. Whereas Netflix right now is two hundred and seventy plus. So, you know. And that's accumulated over the years, obviously. So I think there is still a lot of space for Discovery to grow in that comparisons of uh, market cap. Uh, but let us know down below, what are your thoughts? Do you think Hamid is right? <laughs> do you, are you long Discovery Plus? Right. Or do you think I'm right? And are you bullish humanity and you don't think that we're going to be... Let's see, guys. I had to throw this content. one out there. Um,